Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Mid Penguester here today with the EWT Season 2 Week 2 Team Builder and Battle against Coach Automatic and his Nishman Nuzleafs. That's a hard team name to pronounce when it's 12.30 a.m. in the morning and you're tired, so yeah. So, Automatic's really good opponent. He's played in multiple Wi-Fi leagues like WBE. He was in like APA Season 2. He runs this league and UBL, and he is the website owner. So, yeah, he's an overall great dude, great content creator. I think he even owns a showdown league called IPL. So, he's always in enough leagues to keep his uploads going, so go and check him out. And before we get any further into this team builder, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more draft league content, and click the bell in the top right corner if you want a notification whenever I upload. So, we are currently both 1-0. He 5 0 his opponent last week, so he's already starting off really well. So hopefully we can keep our momentum going and go 2-0 because that sounds so much better than 1-1. One one. So his team consists of a Necrozma, a Conkelder, a Cinderace, a Duraludon, a Gastrodon, a Rotomo, a Drapion, a Mr. Rhyme, a Togetic, and a Travinch. So don't think a Travinch will come. Togetic might come for like Como O, but I have a Heliolus and a Salazzle and Excavalier. Mr. Rhyme might come if he's on my week one battle where I set up screens with Grim Snarl so he can have the screen cleaner and just automatically get rid of him. Drapon's like a pretty good check for like Heliolus and Salazzle and just does just doesn't let them like set up and win. Rotom Mill's iffy because like I have a Salazzle that switches into Leaf Storms. But Excavalier kind of walls it if it's not like a defensive willow set. Gastrodon's like crazy hard for my team to break. I keep finding all these water types. I've noticed that a lot more water ground types are a lot better than... Well, maybe not better, but have been more drafted than just base water types. And it's making it hard to break when my best way of breaking water is Heliolisk. Drylodon, I'm super scared for because my dragon switch in a... Grimmsnarl, but he can just flash cannon, so like I have to bring like certain prep just not to lose to it. And if he doesn't bring it, then I've just wasted a bunch of prep. Cinderace is like it's super scary because it outsees my entire team, and my one switch into it is like Blastoise. I can also switch in Como because I can take his inhib up pretty well. But Cinderace is just a mod that's super scary to fight. Like, you'll know exactly what it'll do, but that doesn't make it any easier to prep for. Conkelder, there's just no switch -ins. Like, I have a Renekless, but it dies to two knockoffs and two facades. And the Cosma, this mod can do so many different things. It can SD, it can Dragon Dance, it can Rock Polish, it can Stealth Rock, it can Trick Room, it can Calm Mind. So, this mod's Necrozma is super scary, and his team's just super scary to prep for in general. So, first up, you'll see a Scarf Heliolisk. Choice Scarf, Dry Skin with Grass Knot, Hyper Voice, Thunderbolt, U-Turn. I was originally Choice Specs because he had legitimately no switch-ins for a Choice Specs Heli Heliolisk outside of maybe a AV Drapion. But it just, I need something that outspeeds Cinderace because otherwise it just outspeeds my entire team and can just pick up kills. Which is something I just don't want to deal with this game. I get pretty free U-Turns, like if, he go, if I lead Cinderace... I mean, if he deletes Cinderace and I lead Heliolisk, it's a pretty free U-turn because he doesn't want to take the Surf. Next up, I have a pretty defensive Salazzle with Toxic, Fire Blast, Sledge Wave Protect. This is like my way of beating Gastrodon. Because otherwise it kind of just, I have to beat it with Toxic and some raw damage. I want it sub, but... And just like run model fire blast, but I was still too afraid of Togetic because like if it did come, it could you know kind of wall some of my team if it's the right set. But I think Toxic Protect is good enough. Get that on the Gastrodon switch and just protect and stuff and stuff. Next we have the Wincon in Lumberry Como Sword Hands Outrage Dragon. I don't know why I almost said Dragon Punch, Drain Punch, and Poison Jab with enough speed to speed tie Draladon. I could run Dragon Dance, but I mean, if I get my Reflect and Light Screen up with Grim Snarl, his mons that outspeed me are Rotom Mo and Cinderace. Actually, Rotom Mo, Cinderace, and Drapion, but 
If I get Reflect on the last screen up, it doesn't do much. And I can set up an SD on the Gastrodon since I have the Lumberry, so I don't have to risk a Scald Burn. And his, and his Dragon type switch in on his entire draft is Togetic. So if I get an SD up, I kind of just outrage and just kill literally everything. Next up, I have a specially defensive Grim Snarl with the Light Clay, Light Screen, Reflect, Spirit Break, Darkest Lariat. Because if he tries to set up like Iron Defenses with his Necrozma, I can just Darkest Lariat and I ignore those. Then Spirit Break hits Conconer really hard. I'll Spirit, I won't Spirit Break, I'll Darkest Lariat, Cinderace, Spirit Break, Dryladon. Probably will switch out on Gastron or set up a screen. Probably set up a screen on Rotom. Probably switch out on Jupiter, but if I have to stay in, it'll be a Spirit Break, Darkest Lariat, Mr. Rhyme, set up screens on Togetic, and Trap Inch just isn't coming. The next, I have a physically defensive Blastoise with Surf, Toxic, Rapid Spin, Ice Beam. Surf over Scald because I don't really need Scald Burns or anything. Like, I could get on Drapion, but I would rather just get the Toxic damage on the Krasma if that's like a switch in or try not to get the Scald Burn on Conkelder. I'd much rather Toxic that if I have to get any status on it at all. This is my dedicated Cinder switch in. I could have been Rocky Helmet over Leftovers, but I wanted just the recovery of this matchup. And now I have a specially defensive Excavalier with Okaberry, Megahorn, Drill Run, Iron Head, Knockoff. This is to deal with Necrozma. That's my only switch in, besides like Grim Snarl, but it's like I have two switch ins. But it just depends on their prediction. So I have the Okaberry for the Heat Wave. One Homie will live a Cinderace hit. It's just there for Necrozma. Megahorn does that a lot. Drill Run. Like, if I can get the Cinderace or Daralodon on the switch in. Iron Hesh is another good staff for, like, the Togetic and Mr. Rhyme if I don't want to if I don't want to risk the Megahorn. Then Knockoff, because, you know, getting rid of items are never bad. So, this matchup's really weird. Like, we both have mons that can kind of just win under the right condition. So, it just depends on who can pivot around the best. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the battle. And here we are with the battle. So we picked up a 1-0 win against Uzi last week, so hopefully we can keep up that winning streak. So they bring Con Kelder, Rotom Mo. Wow, no um Duraladon, which is something I was really scared for. Cinderace, Drapion, Gastrodon, and Necrozma. So the Rockers and the if they want one, but I don't know how good. I don't believe Rocks are that good this week. Especially when the Crosma wants to be like super offensive. So I'm just going to lead Heliolisk. Because I can either U-turn out or get some big damage on something. But nothing out. He has two mods that out. Actually three that outspeed my Como. But I kind of beat all three of them. So, good luck, have fun, I've already watched on that. I don't know what this is. So that's Cinderace. Oh, I forgot I had the custom shiny for it. So like, Hyper Voice does a lot, because I could also be Surf. Surf wouldn't kill, so I think I'm just going to U-turn out. Because I don't really live a hit from this thing. He'll probably just U-turn out himself for, for like Pyro Ball. But I just go Blastoise here. Yeah, that did like 5%. So I'm just going to go Blastoise here. I have no reason not to. I could go Como, o, but like, there's just no point when he would just bring in Necrozma. Okay, he just goes for Pyroball. That did a lot. Because it was a crit. So, like, that's not how you want to start the game, but you can't do anything about it. So, I'm just gonna Toxic here. Get, he could either go Conkelder and try to get like the Scaldburn or just go Gastrodon. Conkelder. 
Conkeller is probably his best play, but I don't know how much damage he wants to take on this. Especially because I could just shell smash. Yeah, so he's going to go into this. And I miss. This is not my game. I kind of have to stay in and toxic here. Yeah, that sucks. Because that toxic would have been really nice. So he's going to be toxic now. That's... Yikes. So probably click toxic himself. Yes. But you know, this wouldn't be a big deal if I would have just hit it in the first place. So he'll go down to 94, and I believe I'm just going to switch into Grimmsnarl. Because I can just set up screens. Hmm. I don't really have a switch in for this. Like, my switch in is Como. But I don't want to, you know, pop that real early on. Okay, so he's going to hard switch out. What does he go into? Gains. I'm fine with this. And also, I couldn't jump for myself, so I couldn't make my mon shiny like I wanted to. So, like, you'll see a bunch of shiny mons on his side. I'm just going to set up a reflect. Because even though he's burned, he could have brick break. Okay, he's not. Good, flame lord. So he went into this, which is obviously his best switch in. But now I have my reflect up, so I can. Excavalier is the easy switch in here. Because he can knock off. He can go for. T if he goes for T spikes, I have a Salazzle. So he's just going to go for Taunt. I'm fine with that. I can kind of just Mega Horn. Or I can just knock off. He's going to go either into the Gastrodon or the Grimmsnarl, I feel. Because, like, he doesn't want to take a Mega Horn here. Or he's just going to go for knockoff. But I did kind of need my Aka Bear, yeah. So he's going to go for knockoff, 128 to 95. Like, that did a decent chunk, but I'm just going to Ice Beam here. And I'll most likely go... Oh. Well, I just got this on the Ice Beam. That did a good 50%. So I know he's offensive and not defensive. But I don't really have a switch in for Ronomo. I guess Excavalier. Excavalier is a decent switch in. Like he has no reason not to vol switch here, but I have to keep this around just for Cinderace. Yeah, he's gonna go for Volt Switch. That did a lot. 177 minus 129. Yeah, that's just basic damage. I wish I would have brought my bandit set because I could have just I'm getting close. I would have been close to where I could just bring it in and click outrage. So so he's gonna go into Cinderace. I have to give this thing around for the Necrozma. You know you could always miss that. I did nothing.
I think I just kind of have to ice beam on the switch in here. You could miss that headbutt. If only I would have served. Because then I could have just killed that Cinderace. What if I got a burn? No. Do I die here? Yes. Gastrodon. Kills. Blastoise. So I have to go Heliolisk here. Because I believe I can kill with Hyper Voice. Or it'll be a good roll. Actually, I don't think he can kill me because I have Reflect Up. So I can just click Hyper Voice. And this battle is going really fast, so I need to slow down a little bit. So he's at 94. That brought him down to 50. So he has like no special attack investment or defensive investment. And there goes my reflect. So my switch in here is Grim Snarl. He's gonna click for a cover here. But I just need to get it to where I have both screens up and I can just click an SD and just, you know, outrage. So he's gonna go for recover, that's good for him. So he'll be at like 88%. I'm going to click reflect here. Cause you can go for Scald Earth Hour, I don't care. Okay, go for Toxic. So, I'm, he's going to go up to 94, and then lose 18, so he'll be at 76. So he'll be lowered. So I'm just going to click Light Screen here. So they're going to switch out into a Drapion, that's fine. Because Como pretty much takes on Drapion. Like, you can knock off if you want, but that's not going to do anything. Do I go this right now? Yeah. Because if he poison jabs, it's not going to do anything. So I have a reflect and a light screen up. So they go for knockoff. So 151 minus 133, that did 18. So I'm going to Swords Dance here. Oh, I already forgot about Taunt. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm dumb. I'm really dumb, actually. So I just click, I kind of just click Outrage here. No, I just click Drain Punch. Go for Poison Jab. Go for the Poison. I'm going to cover it back. So that put him at around like. 60. I have to go Excavalier here. Okay, so what's he going to switch out into? Necrozma? Salty? No, he goes out into Gastron. So, Excavalier. This is a very weird battle because neither of us have been able to break each other yet so I'm going to switch Como back in I'm actually how many screens do I have I have two and three 
I'm just gonna click Megahorn here as he recovers. Okay, he actually goes to Earth Power. That's not gonna do anything. Because I'll force him the next turn to recover. But like, I can break this. I can just spam T-Bolt with my Heliolisk. Like, I know he's trying to stop my screens here, but I don't care. You can go for Scald here, but if I hit, you're going to die to burn. But Cinderace just picks up a kill every time it comes in now. But, yeah. Yeah, so go for Recover. If I hit, you're just kind of done. I did a lot. If only I was like offensive. So my reflect wore off and so my light screen will next turn. I have to go for Mega Horn here because nothing switches into that. So it's like Kunk Elder, but he doesn't want to risk that much damage. Just have to hit this one. And I believe he's dead to Toxic. If not really cool. Leftovers it might not be. Okay, that thing's dead. So, Excavalier kills Gastrodon. So like, what's my switch into this at this point? Salazzle. But how much does Salazzle take from this? Like a Zen headbutt. It actually kind of chews it because I have a lot of defensive investment. So he's just gonna go for Powerball, okay. And you crit me. Actually, no, I don't have Reflect up. Oh, yeah. So he naturally outspeeds me here, so I'm just gonna go for the Protect. And see what he wants to go for, like Mix of Prediction. But, like, this thing doesn't have much use left. I have to go for Sludge Wave and like hope he misses and headbutt. Nope. Cinderace kills Slazzle. I have to go Heliolisk. And I have to click Hyper Voice. Cause that does the most damage to everything. Or I just go for Thunderbolt and hope for a para. Actually, I'm just gonna go for this. If only I would have been Surf. Honestly, I should have just clicked Hyper Voice, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Cause this one, does he go into his Rotom Mo? I hate myself. But now he just gets a free belt switch. And I have to go Excavalier. Yeah. But I am getting close to a position where Como does just pick up a kill. Does he just go for belt switch? Yeah. If I would have been like Dragon Dance. Or if I would have just stayed Choice Band. 
because I didn't bring the breaker because I changed from choice specs heal all this to choice scarf but midnight okay so he's gonna go with necrozma but I still have my Okaberry or Akka so like if he's not offensive if he's not offensive I have a chance to live and I just get to Mega Horn Looks like he's pretty. Actually, never mind. I was calculating the wrong thing. So Necrozma kills. Necrozma kills Excavalier. This is not going to look good for me. I think at this point I just click light screen. Because like if he flash cannons here. Yeah. So that's 165 to 125. So that did like 30. But just because I can switch in doesn't mean I can do anything. I have to click Dark Slariot here. Okay, so you're just going to do that again. But I needed that extra bit of damage off. So you're like 50%. I think I'm just going to click reflect here as I die. Because at this point, this is my only way to win. So do I live a hit with Kamo? I do. And this is where I can just set up a sword stance. If only I was dragon dance. Yeah, if I was dragon dance, I think I would have won this. So Necrozma kills Grimmsnarl. And I have to help he misses Zen Headbutt. Because, like, this is my best possible way of winning this. So, Como kills Necrozma. Because what do I have left even? I have Heliolisk. And why is my DM swelling up? So like Cinderace, do I live? Is in head butt. Cause like there's nothing I can do here. I just kind of sit. I have a chance. But he's just gonna go into this thing and maybe. Yeah, I bet he's gonna foul play. If he fouls play, if he has foul play, he clicks it here. Disarming voice. Does that kill? It doesn't. So at least it's not like a blowout. So Como kills Rotomo. So it's like if Cinder is like he has to he goes and clicks each turn or he clicks Mach Punch here. Yeah, that's GG. Because actually healers can live a hit, but I don't kill. So he's coming Kelder, Cinderace, and Drapion, so I don't win this battle. So it looks like we're going to lose 3-0 to this dude. So unless like he chokes and doesn't go for Mach Punch because it doesn't kill. 
So I'd have to crit here. So I would have been choice specs. It would have mattered, but it's not. So Conkilder kills Como and kills Como O and Heliolus. So that is a GG to auto. So we're gonna fall to one and one. Minus two, I believe. So not the way this battle I wanted this battle to go, but I don't think I played great. He played a lot better than me. That toxic miss early on really tilted me, but you know, that's my own fault for, you know, banking off a 90% move. You're going to expect it to hit, but you know what? You don't always get what you want, so we're going to fall to 1 and 1 minus 2. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go check out Auto, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.